Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss some factoring and look at difference of cues. Basically, this is used usually for uh, rationalizing the, the denominator. You see that in the video link below, and it's just simplifying functions in general. Basically, if we look at in my earlier video, I went over difference of squares. You can see that in the video description below as well. Basically, we have something like a squared minus b squared. The difference here this just equals to a minus b times a plus b. So you make sure you watch that in the video link below. But now for difference of cubes, yeah, for difference of cubes, we will have actually, and it's going to be a cubed minus b cubed right here, bracket. This equals two. So we have the, this is the difference means, yeah, just anything subtracted by uh, anything else is different. So in this case, a a cubed minus b cubed, or the difference between a a cubed and b cubed. And this one would just be a minus b times it by a squared plus a b plus b squared right here. So uh, in this case, so you would write it like this, and this uh, gets rid of this a cubed right here. So that's kind of what it's used for, so it's simplified in terms of lowering the power right here. And uh, you can prove this one basically by uh, multiplying this out or using the FOIL method. So multiply the a by every single term inside here just to prove that it is the exact same as a cubed minus b cubed. So in this case, we'll have a cubed, so a times a squared, and then this is going to be plus a squared b, a times a b, and then plus a times b squared, or a b squared. And do the same thing with the b right here. So multiply every single one. See more on this in the FOIL method in the video link below. So now we're gonna have b times a squared, and then uh, yeah, then minus well a b squared. This one I better put that in front, but any, anyways, and now last one's gonna be minus b uh, cubed right here. And as as you can see, there's a squared b. This is a plus. This is an a squared b. That's a negative. They cancel. And also this a b squared and a b squared opposite signs. They cancel. So all we're left with is a cubed minus b cubed right here. So as you can see, this is the difference of, of cubes right there. And also, if you if you wanted to do an addition of cubes, you could just sim simply uh, change the signs around. So this, if you had a cubed plus b cubed, you want to do the similar thing, you could just go to, this will be a plus b. This is the same sign. And then the only difference you change is this uh, minus a b right here, plus b squared. And then you could also prove this by multiplying it in and out of every single one, using just foiling it out. And we'll get, in this case, a, a cubed uh, minus a squared b. And then this is going to be uh, yeah, minus, I don't know, plus a b squared. And similar now with the b one, we'll have plus a squared, and then this is going to be a b, and then minus a b squared, and then plus b cubed. So we plus this, as you can see, there's a minus a squared b, and then also minus a squared b, and there's a minus a b squared, and a plus a b squared. So as you can see, these all cancel, we're just left with a cubed plus b. So in general, we could write down basically, uh, a a cube uh, minor plus or minus b right here yeah so a plus minus b cube a cubed plus minus b cubed this is going to be a plus minus b and this uh, signifies if this is plus is it plus if this is minus is minus so the same sign and then the only difference now is going to be this minus plus a b and then plus b squared so this is always positive this is going to be minus or if this is a plus if this is a plus this is a plus is minus so that's a good way of writing it so this could be our difference of uh, squares and addition of i mean difference of cubes and addition of cubes right here and if we go for an example that i've went over in my later video and part of an as part of an of a limit that i did earlier or actually later in my later video, you're gonna see that if we have something like say t3 minus one, this is a difference of cubes actually, because never one cubed is just one. So t cubed uh, minus one cubed, this is the exact same thing, and this is just difference of cubes. And then if we write this down, this equals two, write it exactly as, uh, as above. So we're gonna have now t minus one, 
and then number is going to be a t. Uh, it's going to be a t plus uh, a times b, or I mean, yes, yeah, so it's going to be a times b right here. And then in that case, we're going to have t times one. That's just going to be t, and then plus b squared. And that's just uh, one squared. So one squared right here, and yeah, so we just we have this one right here. So that's just a quick example I wanted to show because I use this in my later video. Well, anyways, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this difference of squares and addition. Uh, I mean, difference of cubes and addition of cubes. And also, make sure to watch the difference of squares video. I do some examples on that. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. And remember, you can always download these notes in the Dropbox link below. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.